Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I have something very exciting. I have Eonon's latest Android 13 Apple CarPlay and Android Car Radio. This is the latest one that they just came out with. It's model number M3BLA13. And today I'm going to be doing the unboxing of the unit itself. So this unit came pretty quick. Uh, it came in at about five days, which really surprised me because it looked like it was coming from China. Uh, DHL actually shipped this out. So typically DHL is somebody that delivers uh, worldwide. However, it came here in about five business days, give or take. So I would consider that probably within the United States. So it was very, very quick. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Now this unit did come with a rear camera and a dash cam. So that should be included in here. You'll have to see the stale that's going on. Sometimes they do include these with the sale of the unit. Sometimes it's a free gift. It looks like not really sure which one that is. One of these is rear camera, one of these is dash cam. I wanted to change the view for you guys and get a better picture of what I'm actually seeing. We'll go ahead and open up the unit first. And then we'll open up these smaller boxes, see what we got. So some of you might know that watching from my previous videos that I already have one of these units in my car. However, it's about two years old, two, three years old. So I thought it would be a good time to upgrade and see if Eonine's kind of worked out some of the issues on the previous unit. So if you haven't watched those videos, uh, please watch those before this. It might give you a better insight of what we're looking at. I'll go ahead and uh, pop the video up now, and it might be helpful if you just watch those first before we do this, just to see you know how far they've come. And this is for a 2010 through 2000. 13 Mazda 3 here in North America. I do believe in other markets, this mod, uh, second generation Mazda was actually made in 2009 through 2013. But here in the United States, it was 2010 through 2013. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this back box and load it first. Now it looks like this unit's actually smaller on the back side compared to the old one. The screen size has stayed the same, but it doesn't have a big back side anymore, which would be hidden inside the dashboard. So you're probably not gonna notice any actual difference when it's installed, but it's a lot thinner on the back side. And I will try to include the old one and kind of show you the difference. I'll have to uninstall it. There it is, that's the nine inch display. Actually has a little plastic screen protector on it that I might try to keep on there. And the back side, looks like you got your connections, little antenna, factory wiring harness, fuse, looks like it got some kind of ventilation. I would say fan, but it doesn't look like a fan. GPS antenna, and then the factory uh, power connection from the Mazda. I actually love this design. They haven't really changed the front of it compared to their previous models. If you go back about five years ago, they did have some with a physical knob. I'm not sure if they still offer that. This has the touch buttons for the volume 
And I will say it was kind of hard to get used to that at first, but after having that unit for, I don't know, two or three years now, I really don't miss that volume button because I have the controls on the steering wheel. Uh, and I, I actually like it with that knob because it's a lot cleaner looking. All right, we'll set that to the side. And we'll open up this box. This is probably the wiring harness. Yeah, looks like the wiring harness. Got some user manuals. What user manuals? Let's see what we got here. Now this unit is compatible with Mazda's with Bose and without Bose. I imagine we won't use some of this because my Mazda does not have Bose installed. Your factory sub. I have canvas for the steering wheel controls. It's like a fuse box. And this is your backup camera harness. And if you, again, if you guys haven't watched my previous videos, I do show you how to install a backup camera on the uh, previous Eonon models. And I'll, I'll pop that video up right here if you guys need it. Uh, this is probably for the Bose system. And I'm sure the uh, user manual tells us. Uh, looks like your USBs. This is probably for your wired CarPlay. This unit does feature wireless Apple CarPlay. If you guys like to use that feature. Here's your microphone for calling. And this is the GPS antenna. Let's get this stuff out of the way. We'll open up those two smaller boxes. So this is A0125. I'm not really sure what that is. It's a model number for something. Look, looks like the rear view camera. Looks, it looks just like the older one that I installed a few years ago. So I'll check the resolution to see if it's any better than the older one. But if it's not, then I, I won't even bother changing mine out. I'll have to look into that. I'll let you guys know. And then this, I believe, is a dash camera. And pretty sure this is a different one than what they came out with a few years ago. Looks like the USB cord port. And yeah, it's a little different. So this is an EO9 branded dash cam. And it uses the same connection as the, old, the uh, older one. So I might be able to just reuse the wiring harness that I have in my car already. And it connects to the USB port that's on the head unit itself. And then the uh, you can actually usually play back the video on your head unit. At least that's how the older one was. I'm sure it's the same one. I'll actually be comparing the EO9's latest radio, the M3 BLA 13, with my older EO9 radio. I'll show you guys the size and the physical differences. And I will be uh, seeing if this thing's any better com uh, compared to the old one. And we'll consider some of the features that EO9 claims on their website and see if they actually happened. So if you guys want to see this unit for yourself on EO9's website, please click the link on the description down below. And if you would like to purchase this unit, I will have a $10 off coupon, Sparky10. Put that in under your checkout and you'll get $10 off your order from EO9 directly. Thank you for watching.